Hi YouTube, this analysis is from my teammate in the Lee Chess 45, 45 League, uh, Gokuba. Gokuba. Yeah, it's um, 45, 45 stands for 45 minutes, initial time with 45 second increment for each move. So let's just jump into it, try to offer suggestions for not only better moves, but maybe better ways to think about the position. Uh, as best I can. So it's a Slav defense. Uh, I play similarly, except I play the semi Slav with e6, which cuts off some options of the light squared bishop coming out. But uh, it, it allows you often to keep this pawn for a little while. Um, so here, black takes. I'm not sure actually. What's the book move here? I'm sure it takes. Is a move. Yeah, e6 or takes. Um, takes here. You know, see if the knight was back here and the pawn was on e6, the bishop would come out, pin this knight, and then after e3 or e4, or b5 would uh, protect the pawn. You need to pin this knight because otherwise b5 doesn't work because uh, it's attacked twice, and then you'd probably lose this one too. Um, it's funny, the Alapin variation, same variation of the Sicilian I just played. Um, <clears throat> good old Alapin. So, hmm. Yeah, so C5, C5 here, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Um, White's going to win back this pawn, but they're going to break up his center. And, yeah. Oh, I, would, I would think knight takes. He takes gives an isolated pawn. Bishop c5, knight c6. And yeah, so this black's pretty much equal. If you want to play it safe, you play bishop b7 and then castle right away, or bishop c5 is a little more aggressive. Um, but bishop b4 is fine. And now c5 again. Hmm. Yeah, this frees up your position. Even though you already played c6, c5, you could bring the knights, knight to c6. Um, and yeah, these two pawns here are not as good as these pawns here, so c5 can break up that structure for white. Uh, instead, you go after the pin right away, but this shouldn't work because white can defend it. Um, Oops, sorry about that. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, in the game, queen c2. <clears throat> but this is maybe a better move because it uh, puts pressure down this diagonal, forces the bishop to make a decision right away. <clears throat> he either has to take or make a non developing move like a5. And. Uh, yeah, then white can just castle, get out of the pin. But queen c2 is okay. I, I have to say I like I like your aggressive style, uh, Gokuba. Like, you know, just offering white a chance to go wrong by taking this knight. And then you're uh, getting the rook in the corner. I think recommends just castle, make a gambit of it. Let's look at that real quick. Huh. Yeah, this, this bishop is kind of a little bit hung out to dry out here. You'd have to be careful of it getting trapped somehow. With, I mean, rook b3. Um, well, first off, it's, it's black's move, so he can avoid that. But I guess the point is black has to waste more time. Prevents black from castling if he doesn't want to lose this pawn. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, but bishop d2 is very natural, and knight takes, knight takes, and yeah, this is okay. Uh, main thing is this bishop is bad, you, you want to try to get this out somehow. Um, yeah, 
Now this queen move, I don't quite understand. I mean, you do have pressure here, and yeah, ninety seven computer recommending move. I'm sure castles is probably fine too. Probably. Oh, now h5, queen h5, or just h6, and you want to get c5 in, maybe e5, get this bishop out. If you can just get your pieces de developed, there's no reason why black should be worse. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is the first move I would really criticize, I guess, except for um, knight e5, although the way, the way white played it works out okay for you. Yeah, and then uh, F5. I noticed someone criticized that in the comments. Camel clutcher. Um, yeah, but th this bishop is already here. You want to castle queen side. I mean, excuse me, king side. So just castles. Um, yeah, white has space. But you can bust up a center right away. And... And is recommend d5, but if d5 takes, okay, if pawn takes, you can get your bishop out with tempo. So knight takes, okay, hitting your bishop. And uh, f5, but at least you're getting your bishop out now, maybe here or here. So, yeah, and if White doesn't play d5. You can take. Huh. Queen c5 is good. I don't think I would play queen c5. Is this much worse? Yeah. About the same. And. Yeah. Maybe you're playing bishop here and here, knight here. It's a little awkward, but you will probably get all your pieces out. I'm surprised the engine said it's almost equal. I would still think this is a little better for white because because these pieces are still at home. But uh, okay, yeah, but f5 is is f5 maybe you could say that f5 is a losing move. So white can go queen b3 right away. Uh, he did that next move, and that just double attacks here and the and the bishop. This gives you a, this gives you time. To uh, play a5, protect the bishop, and now if queen b3, now you can protect. It's still not ideal because you're probably going to castle into this threat. Developing the knight will block the protection here, so it's not ideal, but um, yeah, you, you kind of what it what it um, you, you just castled right now, but now you're definitely losing this um, because you have to play a5 anyway now. I guess you don't have to play a5, but yeah, a5 is the best move. I guess you could move the bishop. Okay, a5. So, okay, lost a pawn, but uh, it's not the end of the world. And hey, looking at the positive, you got rid of your bad bishop. I mean, at the cost of a pawn. But, uh, okay, drops back to attack the bishop. And, and again, I have to say positive thing. I mean, I want to say positive things. I like your counterattacking style. Rather than worry about this bishop right now, you're hitting the queen, getting a tempo. He moves. Now you drop the bishop back. Get the knight out. And, uh. Hmm. Yeah, engine doesn't like. Mark c1. It seems like a very natural move. I guess the point is queen b3 is a little awkward to protect this pawn. Still don't see what's so great about this move. Mm. Okay, anyway, my aim is to help white. I mean, excuse me, to help black. Um, let's just, since the engine gives a line. Hmm. Okay. Right here to here. Eh. Yeah, the white doesn't, Knight C1 doesn't seem that, that great, but okay. Maybe that's why it doesn't like rook c1, because that's the way it wants to reroute the knight. Although I don't see why knight c1 to d3 is particularly better than here. I guess I guess on this square it doesn't have options. And it would also block that. 
Okay, that's pretty subtle. Knight f6, h3. Yeah, again, h3 is not liked by the engine. And now, yeah, now f, f4. Yeah, this makes sense. Now, okay, you, you play this weakening move f5, but now that the smoke is cleared and you've avoided the worst with your king safe in the corner, might as well use this pawn to attack. Uh, he can't push past because e4 is nicely protected. And if he takes, all of a sudden, yeah, he might have kingside issues. And that could highlight this rook over here. Then he would have isolated pawn. Huh. Benjamin says don't even take right away. I would almost certainly take right away. Ah, I, I guess this is cute. The idea is g3 to protect the pawn is impossible because the knight hangs. I mean, this is a cute kind of move to make it. It's kind of annoying to your opponent because it just shows patience and uh, better ruthlessness. And yeah, and knight taking instead of bishop does have threats. If you take with a knight, then you have threats. Maybe take here with check, then take here. And then all of a sudden, white's king's very naked. So, okay, that's... So, f4 would have been a cute move to find, and then follow it. Knight to uh, d5 would have been even cooler. But here, yeah, here you, you start to go a little astray again. Rook e4. So, okay, this pawn is pinned, but where's the rook going from here? These squares are all covered. I guess, I guess probably you want to double. And this seems like the most aggressive square to double. Or maybe you want to support f4, but you could have already played f4. So, mm. but the main problem is now this kind of awkward knight gets back in the game. Okay, queen f7, pinning the pawn is the computer's choice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to struggling to suggest a move here. Now, now f f4 isn't optimal because you can trade queens, and you don't really want to trade queens when you're. Uh, let's see, we're, we're what two? Oh, we're still only a pawn down. Hmm. But yeah, you still don't want to trade queens. Engine saying queen e8. I'm not going to criticize this move. Knight to d5. This is logical. Um, yeah, logical black wants to... Uh, excuse me, white wants to trade pieces. Now it's saying that this move is much worse than taking the knight. Why is that? I'm going to try to figure it out without looking at the email. So if knight takes... Knight takes, rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes. I'm not seeing it. I mean, I I would probably be inclined to take this as well. Maybe there's a a shot that that uh, white miss takes. This doesn't work because we can take another rook and then take back, and there's no back rank worries, huh? I'm just going to, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and look. So why is this so much better? Queen takes d5. Okay, what's what about here? He takes c6. Ah. All right. I saw this, but I failed to realize that black's now a piece up. Mm. So, yeah, you give white a chance to go wrong. Yeah, after trades, okay, white can take the pawn, but he hasn't regained the piece. And our, our back rank's nicely defended by the queen and rook. So we can just drop this guy back to f6 and we have an advantage. Um, 
of course, um, I can still do this. But why is why is it so much worse? I guess I guess the problem is White's Rook is active. Um, Their takes, queen takes. Hmm. Uh, I'm actually not seeing that much of a difference. Queen takes, rook takes is impossible. Huh. Good. This is very subtle. This looks. I guess black looks a little more active. Looks he one. Uh, I guess the problem is these pawns. Oh yeah, yeah, we're losing a pawn. Or we're getting our structure shattered either way. Okay. Yeah, and maybe we're losing both the pawns actually. So I do understand now. Um Yeah. Yeah, these two pawns on the clean side versus um oh. This is a computer line I didn't look at. Um, and this line, the engine's not recommending to trade rooks instead to take here. Now we're losing that pawn. But okay, this versus white having two pawns is a big difference. Okay, and is there a way to protect? I ended saying b3. I don't see what that does. So I guess that means that there's no way to protect it. And yeah, this is just a losing position. Okay, but here at least we're winning the exchange, but this is still lost. But it's 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 interesting now. Uh you know with two humans, anything's possible here. Um yeah, trading queens. Probably better to keep the queens on with h h6. Um, yeah, just because the queen it can attack maybe fork pawns. Mm, just trying to think. As a general rule, if you are losing, it's better to have queens than to not have queens because there's more more tactical chances. It's more complicated basically. Um, Okay, now engine saying plus 4.6, but that's probably because it's can almost calculate to getting a queen. But if white can't figure that out, yeah, and indeed this move is, uh, yeah, this move basically throws away the advantage here. And how are you protecting this pawn? The knight's too far away. You can try to run this one, but now we're getting behind. Maybe we'll even win this pawn. Mm, yeah. So this was kind of your last chance to save the game. Uh, rook a7. Oh, that's what you played. That, that's what was played. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is what was played. So good job on that. Sorry, I'm spacing out here. Okay. Um. Yeah. And now. You start to go straight moving the rook. Remember, you definitely want the rook behind the passed pawn. Um, this would be especially nice. Well, okay, first let's protect this. King f4. And now it's saying rook a2. Going after this. Ah, it's still saying still saying white's winning. Um, I would be more inclined to play here. I would be. Computers have no fear, but I will be afraid to go after this while this one runs home. I wonder, yeah, if only our king was one step closer, we could play here. And then the white king would be totally boxed out. So, <clears throat> one one bad thing about getting your king stuck in the corner is that, although even on g8, it would not be quite in time to get to the center. But, yeah, white's more active king. Um. If we could transport the king to g1, I bet this would be maybe even better for black. Um, sorry, I didn't finish my thought. Sorry. Uh, I'm a little distractible. 
I, for, I forgot what my thought was, but uh, yeah, basically, if we could get our king here, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, either of these moves, instead you, um, what did you do, rook a7. Yeah, I'm not sure what's the idea about this. Um, you, you definitely don't want to be in front of the pawn. And um, also that loses this pawn. So yeah, g g6 or rook here. And now if he takes, um, yeah, computer says equal. Yeah, and then another rook move. You, you you gotta you gotta get your king in. You did get your king in, but by the by that time it was too late. Um, I can see the idea here. You want to cut off the you want to cut off the king from coming over here. So, um, so I, I shouldn't criticize this too much. Actually, it's 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 very natural. Uh, oh, now the computer saying it's the best move. Huh, so what do I know? What are you paying me for? Uh, Huh. Rook f7. Rook f7, are we are we gonna take this? Huh, yeah, no fear. Well, maybe the computer has, should have fear because he's losing either way. Um Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's tricky. Okay, rook e7. This this is obviously not good. The king's going in the wrong direction. E4 was recommended. I guess and then maybe the king's gonna sneak around the back this way after playing f3, maybe protect e4. Okay. King starts slithering over. Mm. Again, rook c7, I think I understand. But the king can just come around this way. Better to bring the king in right away. Yeah, and here. Isn't that really helping? Yeah, too many rook moves, really. Um, but I mean, king d7 is also still losing. e4, the other, other pawn's coming. Yeah, and again, it's hard to suggest a move. This is. Yeah, and then lost the exchange. So, main pivotal points in the game, I would say. I don't know this position, but now I know, so that's a good thing about analyzing other people's games, is that uh, learn something C, C5. And if he takes, you can actually force him to move the king, because this is pinned. So that's cool. <clears throat> um, yeah, this was a little bit... Um, yeah, moving the same piece twice. White's getting a nice development. Black's not getting his pieces developed. And, um, this isn't even necessary. Necessary. White can even castle. But okay, that was one uh, pivotal position. And then f5 was a big mistake here. Moving the queen was also a mistake, but f5 was a bigger mistake. Just uh, putting too much pressure here. And yeah, it's it's just not fun to even even if you can turn the game back around and draw or win in the end game. It's just not fun, especially in a long game to have to defend a position like this where you're just yeah you're just worse and you're you're suffering it's it's not fun so um so that was the second i would say pivotal point in the game and then yeah none of the rest of it really mattered too much i went i went on and on about this this tactic that I'm, I'm not sure how I would have played it in the game, but it, it's good to see the computer moves, even if you go over them quickly and you don't fully understand. Well, you should try to fully understand. Um, let's see. And then in the game, the very end of the game, yeah, here. Yeah, white did not take this pawn. And then g6. I'm just going to make quick moves. I'm sure the computer will beat me. Okay, yeah, already king f7. Why is king f7 so much worse than rook b4? Hmm. 
96. Oh, 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 yeah, that's not C6. Hmm. So we want to prevent knight c6. Ah, and, and white couldn't play before. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. I'm just going to look at that variation a little more out of curiosity. Here, here, here. Now um, white's threatening here because the knight's no longer options. Either way, it looks a little frightening. King coming here and supporting. Probably the eval will go up for for white as I make more moves. Maybe. C4. I would think to play here and then push the pawn home. But no, it's saying that black is okay. I mean, excuse me, white is okay. No, black is okay. You can tell I'm very tired. I apologize. And uh, yeah, the, the 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 king he has trouble. Anytime you go to the a file, he can check. Hmm. Yeah, engine is saying engine is saying draw. Um, but of course, black is struggling, and white is the side pressing with his fast pawn. Um, although you know, with humans playing. Anything could happen. Maybe if the king gets here, the rook gets here, somehow you're able to win this pawn. Now with the king all the way over here, the rook will dominate and clean house over here. So um, so it was a long video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, oh, snap. What the hell? Weird. Okay. Well, good thing that happened at the end of the game. Yeah, I hope you got something out of this. I, I, I enjoy analyzing other people's games because, you know, every chess player thinks differently. And also people play different openings, so it's instructive for me. Thanks for watching, and I will maybe make you some future videos, Gokuba. And I wish you luck as my teammate in future rounds. Take it easy.